Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll show you how to make a custom JavaScript alert box in more eye-catching way to make them stand out. Before we get started, I just want to say thanks to all of you who've supported us on Patreon. For the file structure in this project, I've created three files, index.html, style.css, and script.js. Make sure you've got these blank files ready. Alright, let's dive into the HTML file setup. Since we're using external CSS, I'll start by linking to the CSS file here. The concept for this project is pretty simple. I'm just creating a button that'll trigger an alert box in the center of the screen. Next, I'll create a specific div for the alert box. The first div we'll set up will have an ID named custom alert and it'll act as the container for our alert box. By default, this element will be hidden using CSS until the button is clicked. Inside this container, we will make another div for the content of the alert box. We'll name it alert content and this is where we will add the main content like the title, message, and button. For the alert box content, we'll put a heading, adjust its size, and below that, add the text message for the alert box. Since we're using external JavaScript, we'll also need to link the JavaScript file externally. I just realized that I haven't created confirmation button. So let's go back to the div with the ID alert content to add a confirmation button. All right, now we've got the HTML file set up. Next, let's move over to the CSS file. To create a custom alert box with a flat design, we'll start by setting up the basic styling for the page. For the body element, We'll set the font to Arial for a clean and easy to read text appearance. We'll use Flexbox with Display Flex to ensure the alert box content stays centered on the screen, both horizontally and vertically, by adding Justify Content, Center and Align Items, Center. Setting Height 100VH will help make the page height match the viewport, giving it a full screen look. Additionally, a light gray background color adds a modern, clean feel to the page and margin. Zero removes the default margin. Next, we'll style the main button. For comfortable spacing, we'll use padding 10 pixel 20 pixel, making the button easy to click. We'll apply a blue background color for a bold appearance, while white text on the button adds contrast. The border is removed for a cleaner look, but a border radius 5 pixel gives it slightly rounded corners for a modern feel. A font size of 16 pixel is chosen to keep the text readable. We'll also add a hover effect by changing the background color to a darker blue, giving a visual response when users hover over the button.
Now I'm going to capture the necessary elements from the HTML document. By using document.getElement by ID, we can link elements such as the main button, alert box, and OK button to JavaScript variables. These variables will make it easier for us to interact with these elements when the user takes action. After capturing these elements, the next step is to add an event listener to the main button. When the user clicks this button, we'll run a function that displays the alert box. By changing the style.display of alert box to flex, the alert box, which was initially hidden, now becomes clearly visible on the screen. This provides the user with instant visual feedback. Next, we also need to ensure that the user can easily close the alert box. To achieve this, we add event listeners to the OK button within the alert box. When either of these buttons is clicked, we'll run a function that hides the alert box again. By changing the style.display of alert box to none, the alert box will disappear from view giving the user complete control over the interaction. Now let's take a look at the result of what we've done so far. As we can see in the temporary display, the content of the alert box still appears right next to the main button. This happens because we haven't set the display of the alert box to none in the CSS yet. So let's go back to the CSS section to make this adjustment. For the alert box, we use the display, none to keep it hidden by default, and it will appear when activated through JavaScript. With a fixed position, the alert box will cover the entire screen and remain in place when the page is scrolled. Setting the position to top, zero, left, zero, and making it full width, 100% and height, 100% ensures that the alert box spans the entire view, with a semi-transparent background color that highlights the alert content while blurring the area behind it. Center the alert box precisely on the screen. We apply Flexbox again with Justify Content Center and Align Item Center. Inside the alert box, there is an alert content section which serves as the main container for text. I set a white background for contrast with 20 pixels of padding to keep the content from touching the edges of the box. A border radius of 8 pixels adds rounded corners for a friendlier appearance. And a width of 300 pixels keeps the size consistent for a uniform look. Set the text align, center to centers the text, while a subtle box shadow gives a soft shadow, making the box stand out slightly yet keeping it visually flat. Inside the alert box, the heading and text sections are styled accordingly. For the H2 heading, I set a font size of 22 pixels to make it stand out from the regular text with a dark gray color for clear contrast. Meanwhile, the content text has a font size of 16 pixels and a lighter gray color, giving it a soft appearance while remaining easily readable.
For the OK button inside the alert content, padding of 10 pixels by 20 pixels is applied to make it easy to click, similar to a primary button outside the alert box. A green background color makes it easily recognizable while white text ensures readability. With no border and a border radius of 5 pixels, it maintains a simple yet appealing look. We also added a hover effect that changes the button to a darker green, giving a visual response when the cursor hovers over it. It sounds like you've crafted a nicely styled alert box. Now let's take a look at the result. As we can see, when we click the main button, the custom alert box appears on the page. When we click the OK button, the alert box closes again. That wraps up our tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, and share this video so it can be a helpful resource for others. See you in the next video.